nudged to the side and Taylor will fire the goal! What a goal! What a goal! 35 yards! Possibly further! Let's go! Oh, what a goal! Out of nothing! Taylor keeps it alive! Oh, what a goal! Wow! What a goal! He's hit two screamers today, Glenn Taylor! But he's a man on fire for that 21 goals in all competitions this season. It seems that every, every spell move forward with the here, you've signed a new deal until 2021. What are the main reasons you've decided to commit your future to Spain? Um, obviously, I think it's a brilliant club, first of all. Um, but ultimately, happiness, really. Um, I've got a nice balance at the moment with, obviously, family, uh, my job as a teacher, and then, obviously, playing at the football club with Spain. And the lads are great set of lads, you know. Um, I think I've, I could have potentially moved on and moved into more of a full-time kind of contract um, but that would have changed a lot of my life you know I would have had to give up my job probably move away and had to relocate and you know my wife's got a good job so everything just kind of felt right to stay here. So when did discussions begin on the contract and was it an easy decision because the way you've answered that first question it sounds like it wasn't easy to Yeah, um, yeah I met with Brad last week we had a coffee and discussed obviously how we wanted to move forward and um, discuss like the club's plans and we both like obviously came to an agreement which we were both happy with um, and yeah I think I potentially could have you know I, I could have potentially went and played professional football and as a, as a young boy your dream is to to be a professional footballer but I think for me I think being 20, nearly 29 I think happiness comes before like the status of being able to see a professional footballer so it was an easy decision. You mentioned the plans of the club there. Is the ambition of the club not only on the field with receiving high praise but off the field as well? There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes with the new board and things. Is the ambition of the club one of the main reasons as well? Yeah, obviously Brad mentioned you know everything that he, he wants to do with the club and I think since I've played senior football, Spaniel has only ever done better than they did the, the previous season. I'd like to think that in the next two years when I'm here that, that can continue, you know. Um, Brad mentioned what he wants to do both on and off the pitch. And obviously that it's exciting and I'm pleased that I can be part of that. And in terms of your own form, this contract extension this sign couldn't have come at a better time you're in I would describe the form of your life from, from when I've seen you the past three goals all being all world class. In your opinion, are you in the best form of your career? Yeah, definitely. I think yeah, I've never played as good as I am at the moment. Um, and I think that's probably down to the lads really in the dressing room, you know. We've got a great group of lads in there. Um, and that another reason why I didn't really want to move on and and leave them really, you know, we've got a really good relationship. Um, but I think, obviously I am playing well and I'm kind of getting applauded, if you like, because I'm, I'm scoring lucky goals. Um, but, you know, it's down to them as well, really, because without them, I obviously wouldn't play as well as I have been. And in terms of your career overall at Spenny Mill, you joined originally in 2012 from Blythe, but then went back to Ashton. Yeah. How was the feel of being an integral part of the journey through the visions from joining back in 2015? Um, and did you think when you left Spain for the first time, that's in what, six years' time, you'd be the top goal scorer in the National League North, attracting interest from higher clubs and even the Football League? No, I don't think so. I think when I left the first time, I, I think I probably thought I would never play for the club again, to be honest. Um, obviously, I was I think I was 21 at the time, I didn't hardly ever play. Um, and I know, obviously, I was really happy with Ashton at the time, and when obviously Jay sport me on my contract and Ashton and asked if I wanted to come back. Um, it was a big decision because obviously of what happened last time, you, you know. Um, but I'm pleased that I, I kind of took the risk, and it's obviously it's paid off. And to think that, yeah, like further down the line, I'd be the top goal scorer in the league is, at this stage is, yeah, I probably wouldn't have thought it. But I'm pleased I've kind of proved people wrong, and, and here we are. In terms of your ambitions, do you sign for 2021? What do you want to achieve in that time frame? Obviously, we're pushing for promotion in the playoffs. Is this a squad you feel you could win titles with and win cups with? And potentially move up in the high divisions? Yeah, I think as soon as I spoke to Brad really and decided that I was going to stay, um, I think promotion would be amazing, you know, whether it's this season or next, I'd like to be part of that and playing obviously the league above. Um, in terms of the squad, I think, you know, I think we see, we see it every week how, how good of the playing squad we've got is. All the lads have played professional football, um, well most of them have, they've played in that league already, you know, so 
Um, but OK, we'll have, I think, playing at a high level, I think we'll, we'll keep proving that. And finally, have you got a message for the Spinning River fans? <laughs> um, yeah, just obviously I appreciate all the support that I get personally, obviously. And I get my song about my magic hat and that, which is really nice. But obviously the lads appreciate their support and um, just look forward to being at the club for the next couple of years.